I'm at the Ubiquitous Chip in the wee pub with a very special guest, Sam Ewan. Hello there. There's a quick fire round which is new. Come on It's in. not the same as the last time. Mm -hmm. So just tell me the first thing that comes into your head. Okay. Go. Right, my signature dish is... Do I, do I cook? Oh, it's really bad. It's, 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 it's an omelette. Isn't that boring? No. Sorry. But I do like ketchup in my omelette and I know that might be controversial. My go-to cocktail is? Oh, I already mentioned it. It's a, a rye, a perfect rye Manhattan or a Sassanach uh, gin straight. Which we thought to try to actually, yeah. 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 Um, a food I've always wanted to try. Food I've always wanted to try. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd love to go back to to Japan. I was in Tokyo very briefly and had some incredible food, one of which wasn't so great. Uh, I thought it was dessert. And at the end of the meal, and I'm very, very quickly here, uh, it looked like um, uh, sort of like strawberries and ice cream. And so I tucked into it thinking, this, oh, thank God, something you know that I recognize. And it was raw fish guts and fermented tofu. Um, so essentially, tofu that had gone off with raw fish guts. It, it was very challenging for me. So mm. uh, I wouldn't want to eat that again, but I'd love to go back and try some more. Okay. The best food I've ever had? The best food I've ever had. Oh, that's, that's really tough. I guess, I mean, I, I would be going there if I still loved it. But um, I do love going, as I said before, my friend's place in New York, Chinese Tuxedo, yeah. great food. Um, do you know what Gaga last week was awesome really good yeah Julie's great did you meet her uh, briefly when we were walking down the street someone may have been drinking but fast it wasn't me <laughs> uh, so we we made a swift exit okay that's always a good thing when mm. someone's on but fast you know it's a night <laughs> um, the worst thing I've ever tasted that's not that fish cut. well probably that <laughs> um, I went to uh in Los Angeles one of my first times there working on the show and um, we were doing a press tour and we had to sit at the table all day with journalists circuit cycle through we got to eat like we are doing now um, I opted for some tuna tatar uh, and about six seven hours later as we we're finishing up I realized that I got food poisoning mm -hmm. but I was being taken to he was officially called the uh, sushi Nazi he was this very famous sushi chef in Los Angeles. And if you didn't like something or you did something wrong, he would throw you out. I got there with food poisoning, literally. Uh, and he sat there and I felt I couldn't say no. I couldn't go because it was with a, a lot of um, important people. And I was sitting there and I was like, I can't eat. And he said, no, no one is eating tonight unless you eat. And I am so ill. And so it, I literally was sweating and I had to keep going to the bathroom to throw up whatever he was and then I, he kept waiting for me he'd be like I'll wait till you come back it was it was horrendous but I'm sure the food was delicious I mm. just had food poisoning yeah that doesn't seem very relaxing it was pretty even if you're feeling okay I'm starting to sweat thinking about it now <laughs> awful yeah. uh, we've probably also covered this as well breakfast for me is oh yeah I mean I do love eggs eggs are great but I'll, I'll go back to porridge uh, you can't go wrong I do love adding protein powder to it um, so you can kind of make it chocolatey or vanilla and then it's got to have tons of things on it frozen blueberries and peanut butter and sprinkles um, it's kind of like a dessert but it's delicious a celebratory uh, oh can't say this a celebratory meal consists of a celebratory meal consists of I mean whatever it is whether you're having champagne and oysters or three courses or five courses but it's always got to end well hasn't it uh, and I think a good a good whiskey by the fire has got to be a good ending. Maybe a wee bit of chocolate of some sort. Nice. A food that makes me think of home. Food that makes me think of home. Um, going back to the rhubarb in the gin, uh, my mum used to make, when we were in Galloway, a uh, crumble, a rhubarb crumble. Um, and I've been making it myself recently with some blackberries that I found this October uh, near my house, you know, wild ones. And uh, it always makes me think of, of home and being a child. And I guess maybe that's why we've got blackberry leaf and, and rhubarb uh, in the gin as well. Nice. Well, the one last thing we have to do is try the oh, gin Oh, of course, straight, yeah, of course. Which, which I, I mean, it's probably not how you want to end your or start your day. It smells but nice. But I want to see what you thought of it. It smells good for a start. On the nose, you get. Mm. I feel like maybe because you've just said blackberry, that's what I'm getting. Blackberry and I think apple. Mm. Um, 
Cheers. Cheers. Slime jersey. Slime. It's really smooth. See, now this is it. Not many people drink gin straight. No, but you and, could. Uh, you can, and you do, obviously, in a martini, but um, I think that's exactly it. It's really smooth. It's really mm. balanced. A lot of fruit flavor. And then, like, I guess I called it umami earlier, but, like, that mouth mouth feel deliciousness. So thank you for <laughs> drinking straight gin with me. That's all right. <laughs> Some kind of Wednesday. I'm well, not normally it's doing this. Be a Wednesday, yeah. yeah. But, um, no, I appreciate it. I think um, I'm excited for people to try it. And thank you so much for my lunch. That's all right. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you in person. Yeah, finally. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep the bottle. Oh, thanks very much.